It's good to be in San Diego. Some of you know I was here for 30 years. And then uh, Georgia made me an offer I couldn't refuse. So now I'm, I'm a Georgian, which is different. It's pretty much like San Diego, except uh, in Georgia, I learned that the word Lord is a two-syllable word. <laughs> and God, and but especially dog, because we're the Georgia Bulldogs, you know, and I had to learn to pronounce it dog and to spell it D-O-W-G. OK, have I sufficiently warmed you up now? Can we? Uh, I should tell a Bible joke. Moses walks into a psychiatrist's office. <laughs> he says, Doc, last night I dreamed I was the uh, tabernacle, the Mishkan. Next day comes in, he says, Doc, last night I dreamed I was the tent of meeting, the Ohel Moed. The doctor says, your problem is you're two tents. <laughs> the title is The Names of God with uh, the S in the word names in, par Thank you. in, in parentheses. I'm going to discuss the critical scholarship of the Torah, and I'm going to discuss archaeology. But whatever I have to say about any specific points, there is a larger point of which this is just a single example. My larger point is to recognize that two revolutions have taken place in our field, the archaeological revolution and the revolution of critical biblical scholarship. If you leave here with nothing, with nothing else, leave here with this. Everything has changed. It's frightening and glorious. It's something that happened in my lifetime and the lifetime of everybody in this room, even whoever is the youngest one in the room. Moses says in Deuteronomy, we here now, all of us living today, well, we here now, all of us living today, have been through something tremendous, a turning point in our knowledge of the Bible, ancient Israel, and the ancient Near East. And if you think that it doesn't make a difference now, then get with it. When I was in the 70s, I used to listen to this comedy group, some of you may remember, the Fire Sign Theater. They made uh, records. Records were these flat, black, <laughs> brown things. And one of those was titled, Everything You Know Is Wrong. And I decided at one point that I would title all of my lectures, Everything You Know Is Wrong. But then I thought, well, that's pretty pretentious. So then I, I thought I'd make it Everything We Know Is Wrong. Say, that's, that's nicer. It's, it's a, you know, scholars never say, I don't know. You know. Scholars say, we don't know. <laughs> you say it graciously sharing the ignorance with our colleagues. But it's true that practically everything I learned as a kid from Mrs. Rabinowitz when I was eight years old, but also what I learned in college, has changed extraordinarily. The level of archaeology now, where my, my friend and colleague Tom Levy does this isotopes, carbon dating, extraordinary stuff with balloons and helicopters, uh, MRI, giving your sight an MRI before you, you dig, which I consider cheating, but um, <laughs> um, it's simply at a new level. And in the critical scholarship of the Bible, even when I was a college student and my professor first introduced me to the documentary hypothesis that there are different sources of the Torah, J, E, P, D, it was uh, new to me then. He was a, a person who was a, uh, he had been a fundamentalist Baptist minister who then was introduced to all of this critical study and faith crisis, uh, but he, he worked it out, stayed with his ministry and a professor and, and introduced it to me. But, but then it was just sort of, you know, finding different sources. But since then, we've come so much farther to identifying the world of biblical Israel and producing it 
uh, what produced all of this Bible, that it, it, it's like we've been reading the Bible with blinders on for millennia, and, and everything's different. I really mean that. They say uh, Bible literacy is down. I keep hearing this. People telling me Bible literacy is down. That's not true. In Hebrew, the word is bikiyut, and it's Bible bikiyut that is down. Bikiyut means knowing all those little details. So more people today can't tell you what was Jacob's first concubine's name, right? But more people than ever have read about the different sources of the Bible and the history of the Bible. I mean, my, just who wrote the Bible, that was you know, my first one. That, that was back in 1987, and a half a million people have read that one. And, and uh, the Anchor Bible commentaries on the Torah, which is the most successful comment on the whole, but not, it's not just Torah, Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha. It, uh, the Anchor Bible series has now sold over three million volumes in hardbound. More people than ever know what's going on with the Bible. Hundreds of thousands of students have taken courses in universities. There's millions of books out there about it. And everybody, to his or her own degree, learns a lot about it. But no, they, they, they don't remember that Abraham's you know, other wife was Keturah, the poor, least respected person in Genesis, Keturah, coming under Deborah, the least appreciated person in the entire Bible. Oh, look, the least appreciated ones are female. Well, there's a surprise. The woman who made me a feminist many years ago, she had this proof that, that God must be male. She said, look at this world. <laughs> more people than ever live in the, in, in the Holy Land, more people than ever go there on trips and visit it. Well, you, you, I, I don't want to overdo, I, I overdo everything, but, but it, it's an important point that, that uh, Bible literacy is not down, it's extraordinarily up. I mean, just the number of people come to this every year. And, and down the street at SBLAAR, it's ridiculous. There's like 10,000 people attending that thing. Who wants to hear 10,000 scholars read papers? <laughs> Mothers, don't let your children become scholars. Most have now heard of the documentary hypothesis and know something about the, all the different sources. They don't have this because this is the only copy in the world of the Freedmaniac polychrome Bible, which has the, the different sources in different colors. But, you know, I did put it out in English as the Bible with sources revealed, so you can, you can all own a Bible that has all the, the original authors. Okay, that was a shameless plug. That was... <laughs> <laughs> 